Myth number three, BPD is not a serious mental illness. Fact, BPD is associated with self-harm behaviors, suicide, and drug abuse. I struggled with suicidality a lot um, and self-harm. It started out when I was uh, um, a teenager and then it was first again like this fuzzy abstract notion of what being here and being alive meant and then as it grew uh, over the years towards my um, diagnosis it became very specific and concrete and that's how it, it kind of changed over time. The risky behaviors are um, very real and I think we need to also be extremely open in recognizing that when you're sitting with someone who says um, the only solution is to kill myself and this is what I'm planning to do and researching it's scary and this is when it's important to understand what it's coming from and that this is what we know to be a, a Death is obviously a permanent solution to a temporary problem. The self-harm, hospitalizations, suicide attempts, I don't think there are too many mental illnesses that are more serious. BPD is a serious mental illness because it causes a great deal of serious pathology. A 10% rate of suicide among people who suffer from the disorder, the self-destructiveness that has been mentioned, the cutting, the overdosing, the substance abuse, the unsafe practices. Um, depression, anxiety are also part of the picture. So it's a serious illness because of the personal suffering it causes, because of the suffering to families, and because of the cost to society.